back to my channel. I'm Ryan, at least in case you're new. Today is going to be so much fun. I am actually doing what I'm calling jack-o'-lantern glam. Inspiration is actually James Charles, which I'm not always the biggest fan of him, but I love this way that he did this. So I'm using this as kind of my inspiration, but only I'm going to do it way differently because I want to look like a jack-o'-lantern. So let's get started. This is going to be a voiceover, and I am dying to use this, so that's why I'm doing it. It is Morphe times Jaclyn Hill Vault. And this one is the Armed and Gorgeous palette. Um, these colors spoke to me as soon as I saw them on the shelf, and my best friend was sweet enough to pay me, um, pay me, buy it for me. So isn't it gorgeous? Like that just screams fall to me. Sorry if I'm blinding with the mirror. That just absolutely screams fall to me. So we're gonna go ahead and use these, and I am just going to create a jack o' lantern glam. I'm pretty much gonna look glam on the top, and a jack o' lantern down here. So let's get started. All right, to begin, I'm just going to start by priming my eyelids with a regular concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in light. I just wanted to get rid of all of those veins on my eyes so the colors, as usual, would look a lot better. And then I'm going to set that with some translucent powder, which this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. First color, next I'm going to pick it up in the Armed and Gorgeous palette, is the color Agent. And I am going to take that on a fluffy brush and buff that nicely into the crease as soon as I can find it. And I just wanted to use this as a nice transition shade just to get things rolling. So once that first color is placed in the crease, that color agent, I'm going to take the next color, access the yellow in the palette, and place that underneath it into the crease just below it. As you can see, I decided to listen to Nightmare Before Christmas, of course, because this is a Halloween tutorial. And then I'm going to carry on with that same shade. Once that is down in the crease, I'm going to take the color Smooth Criminal and place that in the outer V of my eye, just to give it some dimension. And then because there wasn't enough dimension for me for what I was looking for to look more like a Halloween, I picked up the color Prowl. It's the darker brown in the palette. The shadows pigmentation, guys, so worth the $15. And then next on a more defined brush, I'm going to pick up the color Secure, which is the orange in there, which is the color that I immediately thought of pumpkin when I saw this palette. So, and I'm going to actually put that a little bit higher than my transition shade because I want to look a little more orange. Next, I'm going to take a little bit more of that secure on that fluffy brush that I used to lay down my transition shade and put it a little bit higher because I wasn't finding that it was going into my upper crease as much as I wanted it to. 
And then I'm going to pick up the color Classified and I'm going to take my finger and press that all over my lid. I originally tried it with a brush, but it did not come out like I wanted to. If you want this color to be super pigmented, it is easy to work with with your fingers. And because my nails are kind of short right now, I don't have to stab myself. And I really like how it looked with this orange. And I wanted to show you guys a swatch and it just blew me away. Like, that is incredible. Next on that fluffy brush, I'm going to take some more of that secure color and use that to buff out the harsh line of the gold on top of that orange because it was really harsh after I used my fingers. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of prowl on the more defined brush and put that into the corners. Ta-da! That is my eyes so far. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup. This is the Optical Illusion Primer from Urban Decay, and I'm just going to use that to smooth out my skin. Of course, I've already cleaned off those swatches on my fingers so I don't get glitter everywhere. Then I'm going to take my LA Girl foundation. You guys know I love this one. This is the Pro Illuminate one. And place that all over the face to get rid of all that stuff. And I didn't realize this until actually I was sitting here filming. Um, it is a little orange looking on camera, which works out nicely, but it's not that yellow usually. And for those wondering, I am using the face and body sponge from Real Techniques. This thing is massive and I feel like I could get it done with a tiny amount of swipes. And then next I'm going to pick up my Wet n Wild Illuminati Concealer and go ahead and place that under my eyes. My cats are annoying. And on top of my forehead, but I am not going to put it on my upper lip, my cupid's bow where I usually do, and my chin because I'm going to cover that with black. And then I'm going to go ahead and set that as well as my whole face with some Laura Mercier translucent powder so it will go ahead and not move. I wanted to make sure there was a good amount down because I am using eyeshadows for most of it. And then I'm going to take some black eyeliner. This is my Ico eye pin that I always use for my eyes, and I'm going to use that as my jack-o'-lantern mouth. I use the actual line of my cheekbones to come down from the top of my ear onto evenly, and then I use the top of my mouth for the jagged teeth, kind of as a blueprint. When I was completely done with this, I noticed the mouth kind of looked like a clown, but I wasn't quite mad at it. Um, it actually reminded me of last year's Cheshire Cat look a little bit, only a little further up. And as you can see, I did try to make 
the jack o' lantern mouth even, and I ended up not liking how it turned out, so you'll see me black it out a little bit later. Next, taking that same eyeliner, I'm going to just make my jack o' lantern nose. I wanted it to be an actual triangle, but because my nose is the way it is, I did not get a perfect triangle, but I liked how it looked. I just did not want to look like a skeleton, so I tried to make sure that it was as much of a triangle as possible, and I just colored it in with the eyeliner. Then I am going to take and make the lines into the depths of the cheeks and because I was going to cover this with black eyeshadow I didn't feel the need to color in all of it. Next I'm going to go ahead and color in as much of the top part of my mouth as well as my actual mouth to get the depth. I didn't want my lips to show through so that's why I colored in this part particularly of the look itself instead of my whole face like the whole smile I didn't want that so I tried my best to make sure that it was as blacked out in my lips as possible because I do have crusty lips unfortunately Here's where you see me decide that I did not like the way that the color was going through with the lips, so I just went ahead and colored the rest in to more of a smile. Hence the reason I said I might kind of look like a clown. And in all honesty, I think I was kind of scared to put all of that eyeliner onto my cheeks because that's where all my texture is. Next, I am going to pick up the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, the original, and pick up the color. I think it's Abyss, and it's the black in the palette, and I'm going to use it to set down all of that eyeliner. I wanted it to be black as can be, and I used it also to color in the mouth, which I was really happy with the way it turned out. I used this exact shadow last year for my Cheshire Cat look, and it didn't break me out in hives or anything, so I figured it was safe to use on my face again. I also find filling in with the shadow gives it a little bit of texture as opposed to that shiny matte look that the eyeliner gives. Then I realized that my lips were not blacked out as much as I wanted to and I could not find my black lipstick so I just went ahead and took the eyeliner and placed it all over my lips and then set it down with that same that same Jaclyn palette. Next I'm going to pick up the orange Secure in the Armed and Gorgeous palette from the vault and use that to accentuate the mouth to look a little bit more like I'm a pumpkin. ended up liking how this tied in the eyes really nicely and it did make me feel more like a pumpkin instead of just a clown with a black mouth. I also did the same with my nose and brought it up a little higher because I know when you carve a pumpkin, if you've ever truly carved a pumpkin, it's a pain in the butt, but it does make it look a little bit more of a triangle, at least in my opinion, it did.
Then because I felt something was missing because I knew I wasn't going to put on falsies for this look, I wanted to go ahead and make my eyes look a little bit deeper in and sunken in. So I did a winged eyeliner and then kind of just went a little crazy with it. I ended up liking how it came out, but originally my plan was not to be so deep into the eye itself, but I like how it looked. In the end, that is. And then I'm going to pick up the color Agent and put that on my lower lash line and can pretty much do what I did on the top of my lower lash line. Next, of course, is the Access color, the more yellow. And then after that is going to be the color Secure to be a little more orange. And I did bring this further into the corners because I wanted it to look hollow. Next, I am taking the color Secure, that orange and making lines on my face to make it look like I am actually a pumpkin. I felt that this look was missing something, so this is what I did, and I really like how it turned out. I wanted to add some dimension with it. But when you do this, be careful because I did have some problems at first with, since I set my mouth with black shadow, it was, even though outlined in orange, you still had to be careful how far you actually put it because if not, it would drag the black a little further than I wanted it to, which in the end, I kind of wish I would have accented them with black, but when I was originally doing this pumpkin facial shape, you can call it, I had to watch for the black. So if you want to keep it just like this instead of accentuating with black like I wanted to, be careful. And I went ahead and rounded it off on my chin so I actually looked like my chin was the pumpkin. And because I wanted a little more hollow and a little more orange going, I connected it to my bottom lash line and put that into my eye a little further. Then I took the black in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette of Bis and used it to make my eyebrows look like a jack-o'-lantern does with the squares, squares, with the triangles. And I just used this and filled in my brows and made them look a little more triangular than they were. And I like what it gave the look. It still looked glam to me, but it also still looked more like a Halloween look to me. Then I went ahead and took this Cure color again and made the lines on my forehead down through to my eyebrows. Because even though I originally wanted just the eyes to be done like James Charles, um, I ended up liking the idea of making my face look more like a pumpkin because again, I just felt like I looked orange and black. And I will say the key here is guys trying to get the lines symmetrically because if not, it's just gonna look kind of janky. And I rounded off the top of it at my forehead so I would look more like a pumpkin. I think this look would also be really fun if you put a wig with it and did the pumpkin face. I think that would be really cool, but I did not have a wig and my hair was a mess. And honestly, it probably would have looked good with this, but I just left it up for this one. So I took that secure color and used it around my face to make it look more pumpkin. And then to add a little more dimension, I took that secure color and kind of filled in those little lines and made me look more orange, like a pumpkin. 
I really like the dimension it gave and again I kind of wish I would have darkened in my pumpkin lines but you can kind of see how it looks like an ombre kind of thing going on like it fades into my face so my whole face is covered in orange And then because I felt that it was missing something, I took the gold shadow in here called Coin and placed it all over the black to kind of symbolize how a jack-o'-lantern, when you have a candle in your, in the mouth, it looks like light. My daughter ended up asking me what this was, and mind you, she's six, and she thought it was so cool. But I just liked the idea of it. I didn't like how it applied on my lips but I like how it looked kind of glowy on the nose and on the rest. And of course, because my hands are dirty as can be and I really wanted something in my inner corner, I used VIP to add a little more light into there. I think I used every color in this palette except for the top secret green color, which is one of the reasons I bought the palette. So it's kind of funny. And then because I said I wasn't using falsies, I went ahead and put my L'Oreal Voluminous False Lashes Mascara on. I think falsies really, really, really would have made this look, but because I didn't have any on hand, I just made do with the mascara and kind of stamped that into my waterline. Once that's completely done, because I tried to put two whole coats, that is it that completes this look i hope you guys liked it i absolutely love my palette like you're gonna see me and love it love it Mwah. best thing ever thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time